here, ZBrush 2019. We'll look at the features here and say if there's anything we want to talk about. Uh, I have to leave in 30 minutes, so this is going to be a short one. And actually, now that I think about it, I don't even have Restream up. So you know what? Uh, I won't be looking at any chat. <laughs> uh, this is going to be a quick one. Uh, uh, you know what? Instead of starting with Snapshot, let's start with folders here. So I'm going to go into the comma key, and we're going to look at uh, just uh, any project in here. I think we got some demo projects in here. And I'm looking for something that has a bunch of pieces in here. Although it may be easier uh, when we get into you know, kind of messing around with some stuff to do something simpler. So what we're going to do is just grab a Sphere 3D, go into Edit Mode, make it a Poly Mesh 3D, and we'll start with this scene here. Uh, so with this sub-tool here, you're going to see immediately we have a now a visible sub-tool count. You can make that bigger or smaller. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and append a few primitives here. We're going to go ahead and grab a cube and a cylinder. And let's go ahead and make something real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and um, let's go ahead and scale this cube down here. And we'll just go ahead and move that forward. And then we'll grab this, uh, let's turn this on here. And then we'll go ahead and grab this sphere here. And we'll go ahead and push this in and just scale it down. So we've got a few things in our scene. And let's say we want to mess around with these. In fact, you know what? Let's take this uh, cylinder here. I'm going to hit W, hold down Control, and drag this out. And then we're just going to drag a few more copies here. And then I'm going to go over here to Split. And we're going to go to Split to Parts. Uh, so now we've got a bunch of subtools in our scene. We can hold down Alt and tap all these and go ahead and select them. Um, if we want to put these into a folder, you can have any of these selected. You can select them also through here and you can go ahead and say new folder. And then you can say, okay, this is our test folder. And now we have a folder in here. You can close these folders just like this. Uh, there's a lot of folder options in this little gear. And if you have the folder closed, you hold down shift and do the up arrow, it'll shoot that folder all the way to the top. Um, and then you can go ahead and open it up again. Uh, so you can drag other objects in here. So if I want this one in here and I want all these cylinders in here, I can just click and drag those cylinders. Um, you can also go through here and you can do delete folder or delete all. Deleting all is going to delete all your subtools. Deleting folders is going to delete your uh, folder. So we can delete the folder and that folder is gone. You can also just select any subtool in here, hit control F and that'll give you a new folder. So here's another folder here. And again, you can just drag these things in here. Um, you can also, another really cool thing I like is you can hit W and you have this uh, transpose all selected. If you remember the way this thing works, is anything that's unhashed will move together, all of your subtools. If you hold down Control, Shift, and Tap, that'll hash all your objects. So if you go ahead and, um, you know what, let's go ahead and turn that off. Just to make this simpler, I'm going to go ahead and say again, under this one, we're going to say, um, go ahead and delete that folder. So we have all these subtools here, and I'm going to turn this on and hold down Control, Shift, and then tap to hash things, and then I'll hold down Control, Shift, and Tap, Tap, and Tap, and just grab three of my uh, subtools. You see they're unhashed. I'm going to hit Control, F. And we're going to say, uh, would you like to create a new folder containing these subtools? I'm going to say always yes. And now we're going to name it. So let's test. And now we have a test folder here with all of those uh, three objects in here. And you can go ahead and turn that back off. Uh, although we could talk about that too. If you turn this on and you go up here to this um, gear here, you're going to see we have transpose set, add, and sub. Um, if you don't have that selected and you're just going through and you're tapping on your subtools, you're like, you know what, I want to move everything in this folder. Just go through here and say transpose set, and it'll go ahead and set those objects to be transposable. Uh, let's say we want to add these other three objects to a folder. I'm going to go ahead and hold down um, control shift and then tap this one to unhash these three objects. Hit control F and we'll say new folder. So now we have two folders in here that we can collapse down if we want to, save some room. And again, your visible subtool account uh, is right here. So we got these two folders here. So if we want to move all of the objects in this folder, we can say, let's transpose set. And let's say, you know what, I want to add these objects to that transpose. I want to move both of these objects in this folder. You can go down here, transpose add, and it'll add them. Or you know what, change my mind, transpose sub. Um, also in your folder, you can go ahead and duplicate. You can merge up. So if you have a folder, uh, let's say you want to rearrange these folders. I'm just going to drag this folder up. And it's like, I want to merge these two folders together. Just select this folder here and say merge up. And now these folders are merged together. Um, let's see, show poly paint, hide poly paint. That's, you can hold down shift and you can just tap these on or you can use that, um, those operations. Uh, and that's the little paintbrush there. We have Boolean folder, so that's going to run a Boolean operation on your folder. It'll respect uh, start groups in here, but uh, let's go ahead and I'm going to I'm just going to drag 
these three objects. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and just take this folder here and say delete folder. And we'll just do a quick Boolean operation. So I want these three to be in a folder. So I'm going to go into my hash, hash marks here. And we're going to say control shift, click and click and click. And then we're going to control F and new folder. And then there's our new folder here. And then in here, uh, if I want to make these things Boolean, so we've got a uh, square, I'm going to move to the top just using this bent up arrow, and then the cylinder here. Let's go ahead and make this cylinder a little bit nicer so it cuts through a little cleaner. I'm going to go down here to geometry, and then crease. We're going to run a crease with that crease tolerance here, and then we're going to go down here to our di geometry dynamic. Turn on dynamic, and now we have a nice smooth cylinder. Of course, you can just turn that on and off, or that's D and shift D. And then uh, if we want to do a Boolean operation with those, let's go ahead and make both of those subtractive. Oops, looks like our uh, sphere got out of there. I'm gonna take this. So we have our cube sitting here. I want to make the um, sphere subtractive. Of course, I want to turn on live Boolean in order to see that. And then we can turn on the cylinder here and make sure it's subtractive. These are live Booleans. So you can go through and you can modify these things as needed. Let's go ahead and turn off transpose all selected. So you can go ahead and move these things around um, however you want to. And then when you're happy with this, um, you can go through here and in this folder you can say uh, boolean folder. Now you give you boolean folder now that dynamic subdivision we turned on on this object isn't going to work. Uh, it's going to be faceted so we're going to go ahead and say boolean with dynamic subdivision. So once we've done that it turns off your folder. Uh, it still has this uh, selected but if you go ahead down here and you grab this U mesh right down here you're going to see this is the result of that. Uh, another really cool thing in 2019 is if we go down here to geometry, Ziri Mesher, and we have uh, Ziri Mesher turned on. Um, we have a, the legacy Ziri Mesher. If you turn that on, you're going to see keep crease and detect edges disappears, or it grays out, I should say. Um, but with the new Ziri Mesher here, you can say we can detect edges, and in this case, we could actually turn on like. Uh, you can do a crease polygroup under the geometry crease menu. Uh, but this one will just say uh, detect edges. It'll go through and it'll zero mesh this hard surface object and detect the edges and go ahead and crease it for you and give you polygroups. So you can kind of play around with those settings as well as keep creases if you wanted to. Uh, for instance, I could just run another. Uh, we were up here in the crease menu earlier, so we can go to geometry and then we can go to crease and then we can just run a crease tolerance on here and then we could say, you know what, let's keep creases, zero mesh, and that'll go ahead and keep those nice hard edges for us. Um, cool new algorithm. Uh, I think that's everything for folders really quick. Again, I'm going fast because i got to leave um, in 15 minutes. But uh, next thing, we can talk about snapshot 3D real quick. So let's go out of live Boolean mode. And you know what? Let's go ahead and say uh, delete other. And we'll go ahead and actually we'll start fresh. We'll go ahead and delete all. And then uh, in here, let's go ahead and start with a cylinder 3D, make it a poly mesh. Let's go ahead and hit W and we'll go ahead and scale this down. And if we hit the comma key, you're going to notice in spotlight, we have these uh, spotlight available uh, objects available to us. We can grab this hard surface spotlight right here. And if you remember the basics of spotlight, if you don't remember, uh, go to my YouTube channel. Uh, Pavlovich, just Pavlovich YouTube, you can go to that. And if you go to the playlist here, actually, I'm not even going to bother with that, just do this. Spotlight. So this will give you all the spotlight basics uh, that you need. And you can use that, this, that's just kind of the basic spotlight here. Um, so you can kind of just move all of these objects around, and then if I want to make an object with snapshot, all I got to do is like say grab one of these objects, I can move it out here, I can hit this little snapshot button, and if I hit shift Z to turn spotlight off, so it's Z to turn spotlight on, Z to go into spotlight mode, so that toggles between gizmo mode and then spotlight mode, and then if I do shift Z it turns it off. So when I do shift Z, you're going to see it made a spotlight object and it made it the exact width of the object I had selected. So if this object had been wider, it would have made it that wide. And the cool thing about this is, let's go ahead and do another crease dynamic on this one. Um, if I go back into Z and I move this spotlight over here, you're going to see I can move the spotlight independently from the object or I can move the object here. If I take this spotlight here and I snap it to the middle of this object here, uh, you see we have um, extend vertical and extend horizontal so we can make different shapes. You can also tile this thing if you want to. And the other cool thing is if we want to go ahead and make an object and like punch, punch it through our object with uh, subtractive or intercept interceptive intersection. Uh, we can go through here and let's go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. And say we want to punch a little, I don't know, a keypad through this thing. So instead of, and also we can snap it to the middle of the object. You can see as we hover over this object, we have a bounding box, a little green bot dot here. We can go here and then we can hold down shift and move that up to the top. 
and then we have a snapshot here. So we do a snapshot 3D. It's just going to make a polymesh 3D object. So we can do shift Z here and it just punches that object through. Now we can manually go through here and make that subtractive and make it a live Boolean and uh, that'll work. However, if we delete that one and eh, let's go ahead and delete that one too. However, if we go back in a spotlight here and let's go ahead and snap that back to the middle. Oops, let's grab this one here. And again, we'll hold down shift and we can move this thing around however we want. Uh, if we hold down alt and then hit that snapshot button and then do shift Z, you're going to see it punches through that object automatically. All it does is add geometry uh, and make it subtractive. So that's kind of neat. Um, so let's hit Z here and, you know, we can turn off the tiling. If you want to restore this back to its beginning settings, we can just click restore and then just click and drag if you've done any weird stuff to it. Um, but the tiling will just have to turn off manually. Uh, but again, extending is kind of cool. And also the extending, if we go and we move this up here, like maybe there, and then we do an extend, it's going to extend from that point. Um, so wherever you move these things, if you want to extend uh, horizontally or extend vertically, it'll extend from wherever that point is. So just that's that's what's going to tell you where that uh, center is. Um, so we have our object back again. And what's another cool? Th oh, yeah, we can do an intersection here. So again, let's snap that to the middle here. Let's go ahead and scale this up. And let's say, you know what? Um, I want this shape. Uh, I want it to be an intersection shape. So we'll go ahead and scale this up quite a bit. And then we'll just hold down shift and move it up. And then we can go um, alt shift snapshot and that'll make it a uh, intersection mesh we can turn that off and then that's our resulting shape here of course all of this stuff um, you would have to um, go through and do your boolean operation so again like we did earlier just boolean make boolean mesh um, so that's kind of neat uh what else oh um Another thing I should mention is as I'm moving these cameras around, it's like, oh, I wish I had saved that camera view. Uh, you can now, you can go over here to your draw menu, which all your camera stuff is, and you'll see by default, if you turn perspective on, um, we have this new camera button over here. This is uh, universal perspective and also uh, ZBrush perspective. So you can toggle ZBrush and universal on and off. Uh, by default, universal's on. You can change your focal length here, 35 millimeter, 50 millimeter. You can drag these things. Um, undo and redo is now on here so you can undo back through your camera changes so if you want to go back and undo and if you want to assign a hotkey to that that's kind of useful to both of these I have control alt and you can tap and they'll say press uh, custom hotkey um, I do control alt uh, comma and then control alt period for forward and back and then now I can just use my hotkey to kind of cycle forward and through uh, my camera views so that's kind of neat um, so yeah, we got this, we got booleans, and there's a lot of really cool stuff you can do with these booleans. In fact, um, we can do a, uh, let's see what we wanna do. Uh, if I wanna go ahead and just, if I want to, I can keep this boolean around and I can go ahead and say, you know, I like that shape, but I wanna make an all new shape with these booleans. What I'm gonna do is duplicate this shape off. And another cool thing is if I have this here and I'm like, okay, you know what? Uh, I like the position of this, but I wanna change the shape of it. All you gotta do is go over here to this quick select and then you can just cycle through um, all these different shapes and I'm tapping and moving it but if you just go through here and tap with a little steadier hand uh, you can see you can cycle through those shapes. Um, another really cool thing is if you go in here and you scale it up um, you can just kind of make a blank canvas um, or you can do boolean operation you don't have to start blank if you like this shape you want to make some minor changes let's say we want to um, cut through with this shape here so let's go ahead and say uh, I have this shape here so let's turn off this one here and if I want to like use this shape but not delete it or modify it in any way I can just again duplicate it off let's move it over here and uh, again you can just move this right to the center here and you can hold down shift and move it up and then we can scale it up and then we can go through here and we can do uh, this this one here is a you can make a union mesh or if you hold down alt it'll go ahead and subtract that shape out of that alpha so you can modify this alpha however you'd like uh, let's go ahead and say let's take this little key one over here and we'll uh, put a little key in any we can't see it anymore so let's go ahead and say you move that to the front and if you still want to see it better go up here to the background opacity and just click that and you can see it a little bit better uh, so we've got this one here and let's say we like this one so I'm gonna hold down um, alt and we can punch that through or um, we can also hold down alt punch that through and then we can also uh, mirror that so we can um, go ahead and mirror oh actually we need to mirror the entire thing um, if we hold down alt well, this is good. So we're gonna grab uh, this object right here. We're gonna snap this to the center. And if we hold down, I think it's, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, it's Alt. So if you do Alt and mirror horizontally, um, that'll go ahead and 
take that and uh, mirror this whole object horizontally. So let's go ahead and grab this one here and let's say punch that through and then we'll grab this one here and then we'll hold, make sure that's in the center, hold down alt and then we can mirror that um, alpha over there. Uh, what else we got? So we've got this one here and uh, so now we can make the shape and uh, you know of course you can just make a snapshot of the shape or you can go through here and you can like rotate this and then we can just um, whoa let's go ahead and say come on the other cool thing is after you've been making these shapes you can go through and you can save these spotlights out so let's go ahead and make a subtractive shape from there um, so we're just continuing to add to this shape here and then you know what what I also uh, what I can also do is just make another snapshot here so now this shape fits right in there so I can go through here with this additive one we can just like move this down a little bit maybe scale it down just a bit make that fit right in there um, another thing you can do oh there's so many things you can do I wish I had a little bit more time this morning uh, you can let's hit Z so the other thing I was going to talk about is we can go through here and we can say you know what I want to make a new one from scratch so you can go through here and this there's a paint up here and you can take this paint and you can just get rid of everything and it's basically you're essentially you're just filling it with black and then you can just grab uh, any one of these shapes here and you can go ahead and say okay you know what let's make a uh, union and then we'll grab this shape here and I think if we f uh, hold on alt and flip mirror we can flip and mirror stuff and then we can grab uh, another shape here and we go ahead and snap that to the center here and because it's right in the middle we can go ahead and extend these things out let's go ahead and extend this up and uh, we don't need to tile it we need to extend it horizontally so we can go ahead and extend the shape here and then this will be our shape we'll go ahead and make another union mesh here so now this is our new shape that we're making in this one now that paint here you can actually go to uh, just turn on paint and you can actually make your brush size smaller and you can go through and if we just make an alpha let's go ahead and grab an alpha make that a little sharper you can go through here and you can just paint on it so um, if we hit Z let's see we got paint selected and I just want to paint on this object so you can go through and paint if you hold down alt it'll kind of cut through so if you have something you want to kind of clean up you can do that too so let's go ahead and say let's go out of paint mode here and let's just move this out to the side so like pixel logic here if we scale this up you're going to see it has like 512 into the corner um, one way you can do this is you can do this uh, paint intensity and you can go through and we can hold down alts and we can just paint that out uh, another thing I like to do like for that trademark there is if I just go ahead and take a snapshot of this object you're gonna see we have this I can just hold down control shift grab it control shift a invert delete hidden geometry modify topology delete hidden that'll go through now you're gonna see these little eyeballs got welded in and it also kind of softened when I did that um, what you can do is we can make a snapshot of this object the bigger you make your snapshot so if I make this really big on my screen and then I do a snapshot and then I make it really small on my screen and then I do a snapshot let me do shift Z uh, if I move these things up here you're gonna see we're getting more resolution and if we look at the poly count here you're gonna see the bigger one uh, is much more dense 30,000 versus 11,000 um, but uh, another thing you can do is we go in here to Z and then we scale this up here like so um, so we've got that oh yeah, and it also kind of melted a little bit underneath your preferences spotlight uh, where is that spotlight uh, you can do snapshot retain corners so you can crank that up to make sharper corners and then also shaps the snapshot smoothing you can crank that down a little bit and that might give you a little bit more of a concise sharp result uh, so we can compare these two and you can see you know you can start getting those corners a little bit sharper I'm gonna go through here and we're just gonna go ahead and let's grab this one and we'll delete other I'm just trying to clean up my scene a little bit here uh, so spotlight 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 oh you can also arrange these things you can go through here and you can um, you know do tile select a tile unify tile proportional you don't want to make anything that's um, more than uh, 512 because it's going to dumb it down to 512 anyways um, you can also make an alpha from anything so if we hit W and then go to like brush insert uh, let's say uh, let's do brush insert uh, model toolkit or maybe industrial parts doesn't really matter and go through here and I can just swap this out as long as I have uh, move selected so we say you know what I want a uh, nut here so I'm going to go ahead and say we want to have this alpha for this nut here we can actually hit D to make that a little bit smoother and then over here under your alpha 
you can say from mesh, and then now you've got this uh, alpha from this mesh right here. <clears throat> You're gonna see we have kind of a gradient a little bit. Uh, Spotlight's only gonna do black and white values. Um, so we can change that intensity a little bit if we want to, but you can change the map size you want to, you can move and frame and whatever you want to do to this, but we like this alpha, hit OK, and now we can go into our alpha and we can say add a spotlight. So now we have this alpha that we can go through, and again, if you want to change like that intensity here, then we can make this all white with, um, go ahead and hit snapshot. So now we have an alpha with that uh, alpha shape. So feel free to go back and forth from geometry to spotlight. And in fact, if you go to my YouTube channel, you can see under videos here, um, this this time lapse right here, you can watch that and that's kind of, that'll kind of go through uh, some of these options here. Another really cool thing is, uh, let's go ahead and say, let's delete that. So, you know what, let's just drag this all the way back. So we've got this object here, and I'm just going to unify that, and we're going to say, uh, let's go into Z, and we'll go ahead and put these all over here. I like to see them a little bit bigger. So, uh, we can take maybe this one here, and let's go ahead and scale it up a little bit. And there was something else I was gonna talk about. Uh, let's go ahead and do another, hold on, Alt and Boolean that out. And, oh, so, um, Another cool thing you can do is with the shape that we just made, let's go ahead and make that additive. If, and this is not new, it's just under crease, you can under bevel width, if you just do a bevel, it'll obviously um, bevel your poly groups. However, if you hold down control and bevel, it'll go ahead and add a little control loop in there. Uh, so you can kind of soften your shapes a little bit. And if you really want to soften them, just remember, you can always go into your Z modeler brush, BZM, and you can hover over an edge, and you can do insert multiple edge loops, interactive elevation, and you can just go through and you can pull these things up a little bit, maybe add some resolution, just kind of round that corner out. If you want to do the same to the bottom, just go through and tap, and there you go. So now you have an even softer shape if you want to do that. Um, let's say new features, new features. Um, there's some more stuff you can do in Spotlight. Uh, a lot of really cool stuff, and I, obviously I'm going to make a full-fledged playlist. I'm just doing this right now because um, I'm going to be out of GDC, and I was just got back into town, and it's just been the worst possible timing, but um, just really quickly, oh, there's my, uh, there's my, you can watch the snapshot thing in there too. Um, oh, Z-Remesher, yeah, we talked about that. You can Z-Remesh these things. Uh, new algorithm works very, very nicely. And then uh, folders we talked about, and then Intersection Masker is a plugin you can download, or I think it comes with it now and then uh, z color is another cool plugin uh, but those those were in r8 as well so uh, i think we've hit everything except for the non photo rendering we'll do that some other time because again i have to leave in two minutes but let me see if there's anything else i forgot with uh, the folders or spotlight modeling here because again there's some really really cool stuff you can do uh, with this so uh, let's go ahead and turn on this one i'm just trying to see if anything jogs my brain here if we go ahead and uh, scale this down, you know what, let's make it like a little keyhole in here so we can go ahead and like move this extender down a little bit and then we can say um, extend vertically and go ahead and make this little keyhole shape here and we can move this over and uh, let's go ahead and scale this down a little bit and we can go ahead and punch some uh, little details in here. Let's go ahead and rotate this around. Oh, oh, frame, that's another one. So let's say uh, we have this uh, shape here and again, let's go ahead and snap that to the middle and then hold down shift and just pull this down. So if you go down here to frame, you're gonna see if we just do this, it'll create a frame object and then you can hold down alt and do a snapshot here and I'll just cut that right through. Um, however, let's go ahead and go back to, uh, let's see, can we undo this, let's restore this back to our original. Uh, and then we don't need this. So let's talk about frame a little bit more really quickly. So uh, we've got our shape here. And again, I want to just hold on shift and move this down and we'll do another extend so we can extend this out. So now again, we can do either do frame here, or if you hold on alt, it'll shrink that. Or if you hold on shift, it'll expand that alpha. So you can do, and you can do both. So you can do, you can start with a frame, and then if you hold down alt, it'll go ahead and shrink it down. If you hold down shift, it'll expand it out. So then you can go ahead to go through there, and you can go ahead and just punch that through. So uh, frame's another really cool one uh, that you can do. And then once you've done that, you can actually frame this. And now we have like double frames. So we can do a snapshot of this. So we've done a subtractive snapshot. Now we can do a um, 
additive snapshot so we can go ahead and make this a little bit wider. And if you want to clean these things up, so as I was doing those alphas, it was kind of getting um, a little bit warped. I can go through here and again, polish by features under deformation. Um, we'll go ahead and maintain your poly groups just fine. And then if you also want to just run that, um, you know, soften those edges a little bit, hold down control and your bevel width, and we can add like a little rubber uh, gasket around here if you want to. Um, yeah, sorry about, uh, I mean, I just moved into a new place, so I'm all set up. I think, I hope the stream's working. Uh, I don't have my comments up, so sorry if anybody's watching this and I wasn't able to see your comments. Um, but I'm hoping to get back in the stream, in the stream of things, in the swing of things soon. Uh, get back to my normal schedule and stuff. So we'll start streaming again and we'll start doing more videos. And of course, ZBrush 2019, what's new? Uh, keep an eye out for that playlist as soon as I get some time to sit down and do it. There's some really cool stuff, um, pretty straightforward stuff. Uh, I think we'll have a lot of fun kind of going over the options, but that was just a quick and dirty, um, quick and dirty version. So I'm going to go ahead and see y'all later and uh, keep your eyes peeled. I'll be back on.